to her and see what she has to tell us. Please put your hands together for your greater son. Dear Toastmasters, fellow youth leaders, and distinguished guests, good evening. Good evening. On an October morning, the great storm has just settled down. The sun was shining upon the raindrops which had settled down on the streets. When a shining star came out of this world in the RCU Hospital, 2nd October 2002. As you all might have guessed, that shining star was me. I am Samadhi Kishakya, born in the Pemanan family. I was blessed with an amazing, wonderful family where I have two wonderful parents and one caring brother. When I was three months, my father got a job offer to come to Saudi Arabia. Well, I would consider that as I would bring a lot of happiness and joy and peace to a lot of people, starting with my father coming to Saudi Arabia. I too came to Saudi Arabia when I was nine months, and I had enjoyed it a lot. When I was one and a half years old, I started dancing like nothing. As Amara, I find that a very feminine thing that we have something in common now. <laughs> so yeah. I did my first dance on stage when I was two years old. And I think I remember my first speech, which was which I had delivered based on the topic, my country, Toastmaster. Dr. Gami is not here today, but he was also one of my judge, one of the judges back then when I was four years old. So I would say that I'm a very competitive girl, <laughs> but sometimes I'm not, of course. Um, I have been to so many other competitions in the Sri Lankan Association. I've earned over thirty certificates. And during all of these competitions, my parents and my family have been supportive all the time. Starting with my father, Vibhuti Chandra. He is my superhero in any situation, from tying my laces to getting my homework done. He is my superhero. Well, my mom, on the other hand, she is my superheroine. She teaches me good and bad. And my, is she one of the most creative person I know? She is so amazing and so creative. She does not just tell me, she shows it to me and then teaches me how to do it, what's good and bad, how to, how to be kind, how to be honest, how to be trustworthy. And all these simple stuff was I learned by my mom. And not to mention my ever so loving brother. He is my top most favorite person, although we fight sometimes. <laughs> I remember once when we went on a road trip to Qatar. I was around three or four years old when I had jumped right into the middle of the road to pick up something, I don't know, maybe something, a bangle or something. And then I hadn't noticed that a car was racing right behind me. My brother saw and he came running towards me pushed me towards the sidewalk and saved my life. Thank God. I could tell you a thousand more words about him, but this speech is about me, not my brother. So, moving on, my hobbies include sketching, even though I'm not an artist, reading, even though I'm not very imaginative sometimes, but it makes my imagination go wild. And many of you might not know this, I am into learning new languages. Currently, I'm learning Japanese. Apart from, my, apart from my hobbies, I am a person that helps anyone. I would love to help a people, a person, or even animals. One of my hidden talents is that I'm great at cleaning cats, washing them, and also cleaning their teeth or ears. I would say that I am a person who dreams big, as I have a big dream to become an amazing person to become a doctor and to open my own veterinary clinic.
Over to you.